it may only be February, but summer 2024 will be here before you know it. And that means for many parents out there that kids will have a lot of free time on their hands. So how can you keep your kids busy this summer while they have a little fun? That's an easy one to answer, summer camps. Only today, we're not chugging bug juice and building a bonfire. We're spending our camp days singing, dancing, and jumping in on hands-on learning with music professionals, thanks to our friends from Levitt at the Falls. Roseanne Hoffland is Levitt at the Falls Community Engagement Director, and Eduardo Mendoza is the instructor for Levitt's Latin Jam Camp. They're here today to explain how campers can get involved in three different half-day camps that will end with the campers taking the stage at the Levitt Shell. With choices from Latin Jam Camp, Songwriting Camp, and a Hip Hop Jam Camp, there really is something for all kids. Welcome. Thank you. I, I'm excited. I want to go. Yeah. Right. We're excited too. So summer camps is, is a newer experience, right, that we're bringing this summer to get more kids involved in the Levitt and bring more I love opportunity, um, particularly when that opportunity lends itself so well to, to diversity, equity, and inclusion in our community and really highlighting some some different areas that people might not always be exposed to, right? Absolutely, yeah. This is the first time that we've been able to launch summer camps at the Levitt. Uh, our mission is to build community through music. We've focused on the free concerts in our first five years, but we're really looking to build out our education and our outreach programs. So that includes three different camp experiences this summer. And as you mentioned, we really looked at what could we uniquely offer in the mm -hmm. community that maybe isn't already being offered in our wonderful school systems or by other organizations and that aligns with some of the great concerts you're going to see on the Levitt stage. Okay, well, we have to start with Latin Jam Camp, mm -hmm. right? What is this all about? You want to go or do you want me to just... You go for it. Yeah, awesome. you're the expert here. I don't know if I'm an expert, <laughs> but... <laughs> okay, so Roseanne contacted me because uh, the Levitt has the mission of, yes, building community through music, but they also have these education outreach opportunities. And I think you guys are putting this camp because you want to bring more diversity in, into like the whole music scene of Sioux Falls, right? Yeah. So I got contacted by Roseanne uh, to create a curriculum, to put activities together and sort of like, I remember what she told me specifically that we want to plant the seeds for the new performers that are gonna be there in, in a couple of years. So I think this is a great opportunity to expose, at least with the Latin camp, expose um, kids that are in the fifth grade, fourth grade range, so they can get those unique world experiences and they can nurture their uh, career in the future. What kinds of things will they learn at camp or, or get to experience? Mm -hmm. That's a great question because uh, I had to put so much thought. See, I'm, I'm an elementary music teacher in two elementary schools here in Sioux Falls. Okay. So I know how kiddos can be a little bit uh, wiggly and like have so much energy. So. I had to balance it between dancing, I had to balance it between singing, of course the fun things outside in the summer like icebreakers and drumming. So my goal would be for kids to have a holistic approach uh, where they can experience all sorts of uh, art forms, even drawing, that's my, my uh, goal at some point with the camp, so that they can really immerse themselves in all of the aspects of Latin music. Do they need any experience going in? Do kids need to have some music background at all or could you just be interested? I think you just have to be interested because yeah. what we are trying to do here is expose people to music in a safe way and in a way that it's just fun, you know, like something unique. So uh, I think all elementary students, even if they're homeschooled, they have some sort of musical exposure and that's more than enough. So I really encourage all of the kids that have Musical inclination. I think that's that's a requirement. Like you, you need to have that music bug in you. You know, like I, I really want music. Mm -hmm. That's more than enough, and we can make something amazing happen out of that. Okay, let's talk about the singer songwriter camp. That's. You I bet. mean, we've got. I tell you what, lots of people out there that would love to be the next Taylor Swift. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about that camp. Yeah, absolutely. So this is an offering that we are bringing to high schoolers and to girls specifically and non-binary youth. Uh, we have Janice Gilbert, who's a wonderful singer songwriter and an experienced educator from the school district who will be leading that effort. Um, she leads a lot of the local songwriting groups and, and we said this would be a really neat opportunity uh, for some modeling. Uh, there's, there's a gap 
right now in terms of women in the music mm -hmm. industry. And so being able to work with those high schoolers who are really interested in songwriting. Um, Janice will be leading that effort along with Emily Roll, who's a, an English instructor at Augustana University. And we'll be bringing in other female songwriters from the community too in different musical styles to inspire the youth who are a part of that camp and to help them build their toolbox in terms of developing lyrics, developing a hook, all of the pieces that go into songwriting. I love how intentional you are about including non-binary in your language too in your effort you know, for inclusiveness in the community and, and lifting up the people that come to the concerts and the musicians that you bring in. Thank you. It's really, it's really great to see that. Let's talk about hip hop camp. Yes. All right. <laughs> I mean, let's go. Yes. So What's this one about? For middle schoolers, we are offering a hip hop camp. Um, it's the 50th year of hip hop music. We've got some great local instructors who are hip hop um, experts, if you will, um, and mentors in the community with youth. And we really wanted to, to bridge the gap. Um, there really isn't a lot of education happening in this area. And so they'll be talking about the different sort of aspects of hip hop music. Again, similar to Latin music camp, there'll be a lot of different things that are tackled in the week from dance, which we're super excited about, lyric development, beat making. And then the other great thing, because we are partnering with Augustana University, they have a multimedia entrepreneurship program. Uh, so they have all of the cool tech tools uh, in their in their wheelhouse that the kids will get to have access to. We're working with um, one of their multimedia um, instructors, Frank Cook, to introduce kids to Avid Pro Tools and some of the mm -hmm. things they would be using in the music industry uh, in terms of creating hip hop music. Uh, I mean, like I, I want to go to all three camps, and I, I may need to, I may find a new career after this because yeah. it sounds so cool. Now I noticed that there is a price tag on them, but it does also say pay what you can. Yes, yes, that was something we were really excited about because we want the Levitt to be accessible to everyone. It's a pay what you can system, mm -hmm. um, and that's available to anybody. So um, $125 is what it costs us to run the camps, but if you can't pay that, um, you can put in any amount, whatever's comfortable for your family. We don't want that to be a barrier for kids to get involved. And can people sign up already? They can. They can go to our website, levittsufalls.org, and there is a link right there for the jam camps. It'll take you to Augustana University, which has the mm -hmm. enrollment forms there, but kids are already signing up. All right, well, this sounds like fun. Thanks for coming and telling me about mm -hmm. it. I got kids. I can get the lead on signing them up, and you, you may just see me at camp, too. So thank you <laughs> Come so on much. Down, Absolutely. Ashley. One thing I think is super awesome to note is that the Levitt is providing the opportunity to local instructors. Yeah. And like, that's mm -hmm. super neat. Like, that is really mm -hmm. very cool too. And it's, it's fun to get to see that connection and have you in here, but I'll be there. Thank Absolutely. you. Thanks. Awesome. If you're anything like me and can't get enough Levitt at the falls, then be sure to head online now to get your kids signed up for the Levitt Latin Jam Camp, Songwriting Jam Camp, and the Hip Hop Jam Camp. For more information, head online to levittsufalls.org or scan the QR code on your screen. All Levitt concerts are free to the public. If you'd like to know more about how you can support Levitt at the Falls by making a donation or volunteering next season, you can reach them by phone at 605-271-1560 or online at levittsufalls.org. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by Levitt at the Falls, building community through music.